Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. And good news today on the interoperability side, MetaMask users are now able to use Cardano dApps using their MetaMask wallet. This is done through Snaps technology and what new Fi have built. I will explain that as the video goes on. First up, I'm going to show you how simple it is with just a few clicks for anybody with a MetaMask wallet to now interact with the Cardano blockchain. We've set this up over on Ada Markets to test it all out and the process is very smooth. I'll walk you through that. If you have value, please do share it out. Let people know this is now possible on Cardano. Leave questions, comments, everything like that it does help get the video out there. Give it a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we've set this up on Ada Markets, which is our DEX aggregator on Cardano. So if you want to trade on Cardano, then you can get the best prices for your swaps over here. You go in, select what you want to trade, and then it will tell you where the trade should be routed through and build the trade for you. So if we look at it here, actually, we don't need the full view. Let's go with the simple view for this. I'll talk about in a minute this post here by Nufi, which are the people that have built the snap for this to enable metamask users to interact with cardano snaps are ways to customize so you can see here customize your wallet with metamask snaps these are built by community developers the new one is fully audited and open source for anybody to check out and anybody can come in and build these for metamask so let's go in and take a look here so if i go to now connect wallet the same way you would normally go click on connect wallet so agree to the terms Eternal is one of the Cardano wallets. You can see that's installed on this browser and so is MetaMask. So if I click on MetaMask now, you'll see it starts to load and you can see I've got this down here, enable Cardano snap in your MetaMask. So I've also got a MetaMask pop-up that says connection request. So it's looking to connect to, this is a staging environment right now because this hasn't officially gone live until a few days from now, which I'll explain in a few minutes, but it is there for you guys to test. Click on connect. And then you can see here are the permissions that it's going to get. So it's going to manage the accounts. And what actually happens here is MetaMask is the one, the keys and everything that happens here, they come from your MetaMask wallet. So all signing and security still goes back to MetaMask for signing the transactions. You don't have to actually create a new wallet or anything like that. It all comes from your MetaMask wallet, whether that's your hardware wallet or just a hot wallet set up through MetaMask. So click on confirm then. And it's saying install the Cardano wallet. So this is just something that's installed into the browser. Click on that and confirm. And then you can see installation complete. Cardano wallet is ready to use. Okay. And you can see this has changed over here. Enjoy your Cardano experience. Click on continue and then connecting to MetaMask. And then I can see interact with Cardano dApps. Click skip or you can go through the process there if you want. And you can see the wallet has now connected for me. You can see the MetaMask icon. And I have 16.8 ADA in this wallet. That's because I've already been using this wallet earlier on today. When you set it up first, obviously there won't be anything in it. But what you do is down here, Cardano wallet. So that's ready to go now. The wallet is all set up. Everything's ready to use. But you will notice this here, Cardano wallet. So when I click on this, this is how I view what's in the wallet or how the wallet gets used because MetaMask is just there for EVM. Normally within MetaMask, what you would do is you go in here, you would add a new network and you would add whatever EVM chain you want MetaMask to interact with. But because Cardano is different, you have to do it a little bit different. And that's what the snaps is used for here. So I close that down just to show you. You can see over here, this is your simple interface to receive, exchange, buy, sell. So that will be your fiat on off ramp or your activity. So when you come in to use this first, you would obviously need to fund it. So you would go in to receive and then send in the ADA or send in the other assets from wherever you want. You can see my wallet has ADA, Cardano ADA and World Mobile WMT token because I've already been doing a few swaps here. So just to see how easy it actually is then to trade, let's go and put in five ADA here. So you can see here, it says that Wing Riders is the best place to go for this trade for value for you to get the most, for me to get the most funds back. Down here, you can select, you could disable any of the DEXs. You don't want the algorithm to actually include, but I'm going to leave it for all of them. And there are two more DEXs that will be added very soon. Click on swap. Then what you get is confirm swap. These are all the details of the swap, breakdown of completely the fees, what's happening, slippage, everything like that. Click on confirm swap. 
When I do that, then you will see that I get the pop-up here asking to confirm the transaction. So this is what I'm sending the fees for the chain. Click on sign. And then what I'm going to get is the MetaMask pop-up. Here's the MetaMask pop-up. And I see again, all the details for the transaction. That's what's going to be signed. Then click on approve. And then that's the swap submitted. So you can see down here confirmation that the swap has been submitted and the little animation that we have here. Again, you can see the ADA has been sent out of the wallet. And then in a few minutes, you'll see that the swap gets complete or in a few seconds, you see the swap gets completed and you have your assets back into the wallet. So you can see there it's on 18 WMT. We'll come back to that in a minute just to see that the trade has gone through after I show you the how this all works behind the scenes. Actually, you can see here, I've already got the nine WMT and there's the WMT back into the wallet that is linked in through MetaMask. So if I go then to show you how this all actually works. So it's done through NuFi are the project or company that have built this snap. This was done by them getting Project Catalyst funding and it really is a great option to have. Congratulations to the team and thank you for enabling this. You can see they set this up with Vi Finance. They have a staging environment, which is over here. You can go over and check that one out too. And again, the same thing when you go to Connect Wallet, you see MetaMask is there as the option. And if I go back here, just to go down through the post, MetaMask users can now use Cardano dApps. Now, officially, the MetaMask release that supports this is coming out on or after August 12th but there is a workaround to do it. This is that MetaMask will automatically upgrade to version 12.0.0. If you enable the developer mode in your browser, then you're able to upgrade your apps to the latest versions, even without that auto upgrade process, which is what I've done here so that I can go in and test out the implementation that we've built out in Ada Markets. That's actually why I'm not signed into Twitter because I'm using a different browser just to set all of this up. And if I come on down here or actually up here, there is a link for developers. There's an SDK that you can use, which we use to build this out and enable this functionality. And I will leave links to all of that down below. I think I mentioned earlier on about this is done through snaps. You can see anyone not familiar with it. You can check out the metamask.io forward slash snap site. These are basically add-ons for MetaMask to expand the functionality for interoperability, security, communication, account management, anything you want. The one that NuFi have built is open source and audited, so should be safe from that side of things. And it is MetaMask will be coming back to sign the transactions for you each time. There's a directory there for all the different snaps that are out there. You can see Solana, Near, Tezos, Polkadot, lots of chains there that aren't EVM chains, but can be supported through snaps too. Please do share this out. Let people know what is available now. I'll leave all the links down below for you to check it out. And this is really good for new people coming in to get started. They don't have to download another wallet, learn how to use it, and then interact that way. They can use MetaMask. And then look, eventually some of them may transition into Cardano wallets because we do have some really good wallets being built and built already on Cardano. So links below, as I say, subscribe if you're new, give the video a like, questions, comments below. I do appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon.